Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can play Minecraft on the Quest 2 with and without the PC. Why, why is everything so blurry? Let me get my VR Wave prescription lenses. Ah, oh, that's better. So lads, if you wear glasses and play VR, you'd know how uncomfortable it can be. Luckily, the lads at VR Wave create tailor-made prescription lenses for all your favorite VR headsets. If you are nearsighted, farsighted, or suffer with astigmatism, these are perfect for you. Even if you just want to prevent ice cream by blocking the blue light, then that's an option for you. What more could you want? All you have to do is go down in the description, click the link, fill out a super easy form, and they will ship it out to you anywhere in the world, lads. It really is that simple. It would also be worth checking out their website for many other great VR accessories they have to offer. Anyway, lads, let's get back to the video. This is how to do it with a PC. So first of all, make sure you have developer mode enabled on your Quest. You can find the guide if you're unsure how to do this. Now install SideQuest onto your PC and plug your Quest into your computer using a USB cable. You should see a pop-up in a headset that looks like this. Make sure to click allow, then go to SideQuest and on the top left you should see a green circle. This means your device is connected to your computer. Now go to the search bar in SideQuest and search for QuestCraft and click on the result that shows up. Scroll down and click on download app in bracket sideload. When you click on that, you should see a green bar at the bottom that will tell you when all tasks are complete. When that's done, that means that QuestCraft is successfully installed onto your Quest. But we're not done just yet. Now unplug your headset, load up your Quest and go to library and then head to unknown sources and click on QuestCraft. The game will launch in a small window, click OK when you see a pop up and it will ask you to sign in with a Microsoft account. So now lads, remember that you must own the Java edition of Minecraft on your Microsoft account for this to work. Now, after you sign into your Microsoft account, click on the numbers at the bottom and scroll down and select Fabric Loader. Then click Settings, Video Renderer, then Renderer. And even though the third option is selected, select that again and press the play button. Then make sure you always select play anyway. And after a minute or two, the game will launch with a red screen and you'll be in the Minecraft home menu. But wait guys, because the next part is hugely important. Now, make sure you select the reset button in the bottom right to optimize the game. Now, when you start a new world, although the current one, the game will seem like it has frozen, but do not close the game. The level will take a little bit to load. When all this is done, you'll be playing Minecraft in VR on the MetaQuest 2 using QuestCraft with all the bells and whistles you'll enjoy. But what if you didn't have a PC? Well, this part is for you. So guys, for this part of the tutorial, you're gonna need a Android mobile phone, an iPhone will not work, and a USB-C cable to whatever cable works in your mobile phone. So first of all, make sure you have developer mode enabled on your Quest. You can find the guide for this if you're unsure how to do it. Now take your Android mobile device and go to the Play Store and download the SideQuest app. Now take a USB-C to USB-C cable and plug it into your Quest and mobile phone. The charger that came in the box with the Quest 2 should work. Now launch SideQuest and you should get a prompt on your mobile phone asking you to allow SideQuest access to your Quest. Click Always Open at the bottom and click OK. It should then ask you what app you want to use for the USB device. Make sure you select SideQuest and click Always. At the same time, you should also be getting prompts in your headset that look like this. Now just make sure you click Allow on all the prompts that show up within your headset. Once that's done, go to the bottom of the SideQuest app and click Get Started. Now at the bottom of SideQuest, you should see a little green circle. That means that your Quest 2 is successfully connected to your mobile phone. Now head to the search bar and search for QuestCraft and click the first option. And now click the download app in bracket sideload option. This would install QuestCraft onto your Quest 2. But hold on for one second. If you have any issues with QuestCraft not installing, despite the device being connected correctly, you can always restart each device and remove the wire and place it back in and check to see if any on-screen prompts pop up. That should usually sort out any issues. Now unplug your headset, load up your Quest and go to library and then head to unknown sources and click on QuestCraft. The game will launch in a small window, click OK when you see a pop-up and it will ask you to sign in with a Microsoft account. So now lads, remember that you must own the Java edition of Minecraft on your Microsoft account for this to work. Now, after you sign into your Microsoft account, click on the numbers at the bottom and scroll down and select Fabric Loader. Then click Settings, Video Renderer, 
then renderer and even though the third option is selected select that again and press the play button then make sure you always select play anyway and after a minute or two the game will launch with a red screen and you'll be in the minecraft home menu but wait guys because the next part is hugely important now make sure you select the reset button in the bottom right to optimize the game now when you start a new world although the current one the game will seem like it has frozen but do not close the game the level will take a little bit to load when all this is done you would have successfully installed questcraft onto your meta quest 2 without using a pc but that's all from me thanks for watching peace